Hello new Rippy fans and welcome back to the third episode of Mystery to Glory where we're taking our new side Rippy to Mashora all the way to glory. Now this is the third episode and I wanted to start this by saying thank you to everybody who's been sending in positive comments. One reason why I wanted to start a save on YouTube is just so I can get my personality across on YouTube as well. Whereas on Twitch, I'm on Twitch a lot. Live streams, <laughs> it gets a bit crazy sometimes. The vibes is amazing. And I wanted to try and transfer that over onto YouTube as well, which is one reason why we have started this YouTube save. And it's going fantastically well. So let's get stuck in to today's episode. Welcome back, you beautiful people. Now, in the last episode, we started fantastically well. We started or we played our first two league games of the season. So we played two and we won both of them, putting us on six points and we are currently third in the table. So if we look at those two games, we played Politechnica. I mean, some of the pronunciations, I'm absolutely going to butcher it. We played this team. We won 2-1. We played very well. They scored in the last minute. They did not deserve that goal. Then in the second game, we absolutely smash let's try and pronounce this one metalogobulus metalogobulus metaloglobus bucharesti we beat them 4-1 at home christian gavra is on fire and your defense is terrified that is what is going on so far in the save and today we will be playing the next two league games as well someone in the comments told me that i should be playing 10 to 15 games in one video we'll think about that we will think about that but i don't want these videos to be extra long i want people to keep up and be engaged and entertained in these series as well so we will play these two games and accidentally as well usually in a youtube save you play like two games and then you skip the next 10 or something and then you come back again to play two games we absolutely forgot to do that so we're just going to carry on but then in the next episode just in case i forget to mention it we will skip a few games so we'll come back i mean astra are a very good team as well but we will come back in october here we'll come back in this game another home game as well so we'll come back on the 2nd of october we'll play these two games come back on the 2nd of october just to see where we're at after today's episode but now let's get stuck in tactically tactically everything is going well but we did learn something from the last episode we learned when we play at home it's best to play a little bit more direct so we're going to go with the winger on attack fullback on support mentality on attacking but defensively or away games, I should say, we will be using this balanced version of the tactic. And all you need to know is that Christian Gavra is on fire. He's absolutely on fire. Five goals in the first two games. Can he carry on his goal scoring record? We shall see in the next game. So let me continue into the next game and let's get it started. Let's get it on. <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on just a second. This video is sponsored by the fantasy football app, Spitch. Spitch is a fantastic fantasy football app where you can battle it out against your friends. You can battle it out against me as well. My code will be up there. And you can battle it out against strangers as well. The best thing or one of the best things about Spitch is that there are weekly prices. So this isn't just based off one season. Weekly, you have the chance to win a prize. And of course, you also have a chance to win your fair share share of 70,000 pound. Now that's one big huge injection. <laughs> Another great part about the app is the fact that you don't need to leave the app to find some key stats. All the key stats you need, the goals, the clean sheets, everything that you need is inside the app, even tutorials as well to help you get started with this app. Now by downloading this app and registering as well, you will be helping out this channel, RDF Tactics, a lot. So that would be hugely appreciated. So once you download the app, and you register as well that is when you have to provide your id because of course this app is available for those who are 18 and over plus you have to be living in the uk ireland germany or austria <laughs> so make sure you download the app downloading the app again we'll be helping out this channel a lot so appreciate it i'll see you guys soon let's get back into see you guys soon I'm still here. Let's get back into FM. So we're just now approaching that game. It's 10 o'clock on Saturday morning and we've got Christian Gavra reporting that training. He is performing extremely well. So we're just going to praise some of these guys and we're going to go to training individual, I believe it is. And here is kind of a quick way. So Roberto Stoicher as well, a youngster. We're just going to praise him. 
Sturgeo, another young star. We're going to praise him as well. Try and keep their morale up. Try and keep them performing very, very well in training. Now, somebody said in the comments that how do I... Uh, how do I do my training? Because obviously we cannot see any of the attributes. One way you can do it. So let's say uh, Robert Stoicher for an example. If we go to his report, we kind of get his cons here. So lack of strength and fitness means that he should be doing gym work on his overall athleticism. So we can kind of do some sort of strength or stamina training when it comes to his additional focus or what you can do is something that I like to do as well is kind of look at his player style. So he's considered a technical player. So now because he's young, I want to kind of emphasize on those technical attributes. So that is what I could do as well. So it could be something like attacking movement, not necessarily attacking movement, actually, but it could be final third where you're improving on your composure and decision making, which is kind of key for technical players. It could be shooting if he was a striker, but he's a winger. So now it could be crossing, it could be ball control, or it could be passing as well. So that's what I would kind of do. So you either focus on a strength or you focus on the weakness, which you will always get in your scout, your scout <laughs> on your coach report and that is kind of one way you can work out your training but i believe we might possibly leave the training for our next episode where we can talk a little bit more in depth in the training where i've actually sorted out some training schedules as well i think that would be fun for now i've kind of left it but i am focusing on a couple players who are performing in a new role like we have any here he's a central midfielder he can't play on the left mid but we are retraining him into that position so let's go to our tactical meeting shalimba i believe it is they are first they are currently first so it so it is a top of the table clash this should be very very intriguing and we're going to leave it but we are going to go with attacking because that is the way we roll that's the way we roll and they kind of overload there is kind of an overload in midfield hmm so they've got three central midfielders against our two technically what we could do is bring him back kind of but we don't have a natural attack or oh, we do have any do you have any guys should we try something yeah we're going to try something new today we're actually just going to drop him back Possibly a shadow sh striker. So we're going to go for the shadow striker. We're going to play any today. And we're going to see how this goes. We're just going to see how this goes. Because they've got three central midfielders. We've only got two. There's kind of an overload there for them. So we're going to kind of get a shadow striker and attack a midfielder in that sort of area. Let's go, boys. So we're going to get them to try and carry on from their last game. We're going to pump our fists. Just pump, pump them fists. Pump them fists. Let's try and win this game. Come on, boys. Our stadium. I mean, it's supposed to be electrifying. It is called Electrica. Yeah, it's pretty decent. You see my house there? Look, right here. That's my house there. That's my flat. That's where I'm living currently. All I've got to do is take the lift down the stairs. I you know, I've got my football bag, my sports stuff, my sports gear. And I just take that little trip across the road and we're <laughs> at home already. Let's get stuck into this game. Come on, boys. I have no game audio. Oh, there we are. Game audio is back now. Here is Gladden. Glad to you're playing for us. Here's Callen with a back heel. Finds Gavro. Controls it. Pifto! It's 1-0, but it might be offside. It is. Gavro was offside, I believe. Ah, Gavro, you can't open your eyes, son. You can't see that you're offside. It was a nice start. It was a nice finish from Piftor as well. And Shalimba, hey, with two shots at go already. Four now. Uh-oh. Heads it out. Is Gavro going to get there? Yes, he controls the ball. Now we're on our way. We are very good in the air, by the way. I'm sure that nearly every single player... In their coach, uh, coach report says it's, they're good in the air. Here's Ene. Picks up the ball in a very good position here for the... Oh, he's gone all the way back. Dobre plays it to Lalic. Nice challenge. I really need to learn um, some of these names as well. Oh, we've got to do better. They just hoof it. There's a man up. There's a man on. Oh, composure from the boys here. Oh, what a ball to Piftor. Playing through to Gavro. I see it. Oh, he's going wide. His piff door whips it, Ene. Oh, it's a goal! Miha Ene is 1 0 to the Rippy Boys. Come on! What a goal! What a goal! A lot of composed play there. Piff door out wide. He's, he's going to be key for us as well. He is one of our main creative players. Ene is actually a creative player as well. And he whips it into Ene's head, who scores a goal. I did literally just said that we're very good in the air. He's a technical player. There's nothing about him being good in the air, but. It was a technical header, I guess. <laughs> One deal to Repensia, Timmy Shora. 
Oh, here we have a corner now. NA on the corner. Lalic is two. Easy, 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 easy. <laughs> Rapenzio on now, two up. We on top of the league. Say we on top of the league. Surely, surely. We on top of the league. Say we on top. Uh-oh. It is a highlight. Let's take this off the screen. They whip it in. Oh, off the line. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what was that about? Off the line by the Rippy boys. Great thing about the skin here is we can kind of see what is going on position wise. And it whips it in. We are very, very good in the air. Here's Eddie. Just pull it in the point. Yeah. It's piffed or it's free. <laughs> oh, my days. We are better than Burnley. We are better than Stoke in the air. This is how you dominate aerially. Ede out on the right, whips it in. I mean, come on, this is looking like a tactical masterclass, bringing that striker down into that attacking midfielder splot. Splot? I don't know why I mixed up two words together all the time. In that attacking midfielder spot. Oh, Rippy are oh, cruising here. Now they are getting a few shots at goal. We've got to kind of work out why they're obviously finding some space somewhere in our team. And it could be these spaces out here on the flanks, possibly. Now, I don't know if this, the defense is too detached from the midfield or if the wing backs should be a little bit more aggressive. So, yeah. Or is it because we're forcing them out wide, it's pinning them back? We'll go for this actually, yeah, we'll try this. Maybe because I'm forcing them out wide, it's actually pinning my fullbacks back. Or maybe they're advancing. They really, really are attacking down that flank. There's Rayo on the ball now, stirs you, the 17-year-old fullback. Rayo whips it in far post, but Christian heads it out. Challenge, Piftor collects the ball now, plays it to Rayo. The centre midfield pair partnership looks decent. Oh, here's Mitchell, my favourite. Oh! I mean, Gavra isn't on the score sheet yet. So let's let's try and demand more from Gavra. Let's try and get a little bit more from Gavi. Uh-oh. Luca whips it. Keeper, what are you doing? So we are possibly defending a little bit better, but there's nothing suggesting that we've kind of fixed this issue here. It's Groza. Luca. He's about to Visha. Repenzia are now, not Repenzia, Shalimba are now getting a lot of the ball. They are seeing a lot of the ball. If they kick this long, we could win this in the air. Oh, they win it. Christian to Volda out wide. Here we go. Oh, oh what a block fullback. Oh, unlucky. Here's Volda driving towards goal and it goes over the bar. Now, I've got a new suggestion for myself. What we're going to do actually is get our fullbacks to man mark their wing backs. Possibly that gets them further up the pitch. And that actually could allow our wingers to be free and that could cause some issues. So we're going to revert. We're going to revert back to the lower line of defensive line. And we're actually going to make some subs now as well. So we're going to bring on Ivanovic and we're also going to bring on Gabriel Stoy. Give the team two. Let's go. This could also possibly be our first clean sheet. I mean, they've got an XG of 2.09. They've got two clear cuts. I haven't even seen that. Gavron! There's just absolutely no way we can play a game without Gavra scoring a goal. Who whips it in this time? It's Enne. Enne's had a fantastic game as a shadow striker here. He just whips it into Gavra. He nods it in. It is four goals to the nil. I don't know what's going on here. Their goalkeepers had an awful game. They had an XG of 2.13. I honestly cannot tell you how. I can't tell you how. Ah, oh, it might have been when we cleared the ball off the line, actually, as well. But nonetheless, we knocked them off top of the table. We are now top of the table. We on top of the league. Say we on top of the league. We on top of the league. Say we on top of the league. Now we're going to get stuck in to the very next game. I have to continue again. But let's look at some. That was his, that was his debut. Has he not come on before? Weird. Weird, weird, weird. NA, he is obviously going to get some praise. And what we can do, actually, we're going to just skip to one day. And we're just going to have a quick look at the passing network. Instead of like these saves or this save, instead of just skipping towards the next game, just magically, sometimes we might actually take a break to look at some of the important stuff as well, which, of course, if I need to change things, sometimes you guys can actually be the witness of me changing it rather than behind the scenes as well. Just trying to get you guys more involved in the save, really. Possibly last game, we got caught on the break a lot. Possibly with that 3-5-2 they played. 
possibly we got caught on the break. I can see if we are playing with the ball, we lose the ball. I can see the space, the gaps opening up. But we move to the next game. We'll, we'll have a think about it, possibly take off count or possibly, but we will have a think about it in the next game. So I'm going to continue till then and you will see me away at Dacia. Come on. So we're back. We are back and we are away to Dacia, Dacia, Dacia. Uh, Again, I will learn how to pronounce these names. I am going to be taking that a little bit more seriously rather than just joking about it all the time. Because to be fair, if my name was always mispronounced, I'd probably get a little annoyed as well. So I'm going to be try. I'm going to try and be a little bit more respectful when it comes to pronouncing names. But we are playing our next game, and we got our centre back. One of our centre backs out. He's got head and ability. He's good in the air as well. So we're just going to put him in. We don't know if he's the better centre back out of the other one. So he's three stars and he is also, oh no, he's two and a half. So yeah. And he's also inconsistent as well. So we are going to go with Roger today. And then we're also going to take out any and put back in Goldo. We're going to go with this team today. What formation are they going with? They're going with the 442 as well. The last time we played the 442, things went really, really well. So let's get stuck in to this next game. We're going to just ask the assistant today and then I'm going to tell the defensive midfield there is no pressure on you guys. Come on, boys. Here's Gladden with a throw and someone's got to come short. Piftor is there. He receives the ball. Here's Gladden. Now, where's he going to go? Plays it into Piftor. Piftor to Golda. We are on fire. What a goal. We have scored another early goal. We are in yellow and red today as well, but I'm in, black, I'm in black and red. Black and gold. Oh, what a finish. Black and gold. <laughs> Go on, boys. All right, we need to create a rippy song. Obviously, it's probably, they're obviously going to be in Romanian and I won't be able to speak Romanian. So I might just have to create an English rippy song. Oh, Gavra, don't score again. Oh, he's hit the pulse. I mean, I meant to say score again. I didn't actually mean to miss it. I just can't believe that you're going to score again is what I meant to say. Sturgeon is on at a seven as well. The right back, Lalic, heads it wide. This team are currently 10th or we've knocked them down to 10th. Otherwise, they would have been on six points. They've been knocked down again to 11th place now. Oh, superb flowing move by Rippy. The Rippy boy is on fire. The midfield is having an absolute stunning game. You love to see it. You when your whole in the 442, when your whole midfield is on the seven plus, it, it just looks great. It looks great. Now we need to get Gavra on the seven plus because then that probably wraps up the game, doesn't it? Gavra scoring a goal. <clears throat> My headphones have decided to cut out. Absolutely no reason why. But the party continues. There's Challen. There's Piftor. The Gavra. Look at the football. Look. If we score from this, I might just go nuts. If we score from this, I might just go nuts. Oh my god! Oh Gavra's on fire! Your face is terrifying! Gavra's on fire! Yeah, I can't believe my headphones are cut out right at the wrong moment. What a goal! What's happened to these boys now? Let's turn them on and off. Oh, this guy is technically just gifted, ain't he? Oh, what is going on? It's just a standard 4-4-2, boys. We are using the balance tactic as well. So away from home, this is obviously the better option to go with. For, for some odd reason, the, the sound has just decided to go out. I need the atmosphere in my headphones because we're just playing absolutely fantastically. So what we're going to do is pump our fist. No, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not. We're going to point our fingers to tell them to keep it up because some of the boys are looking complacent and that has worked. It's a shame you can't shout out the bench, isn't it? I'll be like, hey, Ivanovic, are you complacent? You're on the bench, son. You should be, you should be fired up to be getting on. And Razvan, he's nervous. Calm down, you're on the yellow, calm down. Oh, I swear, no game audio on my headphones is really, really bugging me. What has happened? My headphones are out of Oh, what a save by Dobre. We did get our first clean sheet in the last game as well. Hopefully we can continue with that today. They did not deserve to score. Very, very decent on the left-hand side, it looks like. Or we're playing a lot on the left-hand side, I should say. Which is good to see or good to know because uh, Piftor is a very creative player. So we do want to get the ball to our most creative players as much as possible. NA is going to be coming on on that left-hand side. The left-back is looking complacent. So we're going to replace him with another complacent player. <laughs> but it might be a little bit easier to motivate, possibly. Nah, we're also going to shout at him, by the way. So we're going to use one of the shouts here. 
And another thing with shouts, what I like to do is use them individually. So rather than demanding more for the whole team in this sort of situation, especially, we just don't need to because a lot of people are going to be having a different body language. So different shouts work for different body languages. So I don't necessarily feel that shouting at your team is always a good idea. Sometimes you should just be focusing on some individuals like these two. Now, who are those two that I don't even know what I've even shouted, you know, I've lost my head. I'm just too happy. So they've had no reaction. That's not a great example, is it? Making me look silly in front of my in front of my viewers. Also, for the last 10 minutes, we're going to remove this as well. Just to just not tire out our players pointlessly. It's another highlight. It's going to be gathering it. Oh, it's hit the bar. So they decide to kick it long, which is a silly, silly idea. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say silly idea, considering we're so good in the air. Here's Angel. What a name. Enjob gang. Oh, they're doing back heels and everything. Sava! Oh, what a goal. What a goal. So we're going to, you know, focus. Tell the boys to focus. Now, they might react bad to this because I've never, ever seen my team react good to telling them to focus. Ah, oh, what a finish. Bye-bye. Get off my screen. Don't throw this. Don't throw this. Don't throw this. Don't throw this. And we have one again. Because the repeat boys are on fire. The repeat boys are on fire. Oh my God. That is four games now. Four wins on the bounce. Can we make it five out of five? I was going to say it in the next episode, but of course we will not be playing the next games. Looking forward to... Oh, for a moment. I thought that it was talking about Saka coming to Rippy. I'm like, yeah, give me him. Give me him. And that... It's the last game of today all wrapped up. We have won again. I hope you guys are enjoying this because I am. Uh, look at this. Look at Gavra. 8.57 in the four games. Piffed up. Look at it. Look at it. Look, 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 look at the assist. And look at the goal. Sergio Ribeiro. Of course, we can't even see his attribute. I always, even when I play with no attributes, I always, always find myself clicking on players to see their attributes. And this is a good indication, like when it comes to signings as well, we will need to look at this because this will give us an indication of what leagues to actually be looking in. So this is the league that we're in and we are two stars. So I think all the two stars is like a good indication for us when we go and look to buy players or two stars and above. Anything below, nah, it just might not be good enough for us. Might not. We never know though. You might find an absolute banging player. And... For those of you who don't know, who aren't really in tune with my player filters and stuff like that, we will be using some player filters. So if we go to, uh oh, there we are. So we've got player filters here. And then when we are buying players, because obviously we cannot see their attributes, we will be looking at the stats. So for a striker, we'll be looking at things like goals, penalty, the XG, shots on target. If we're using someone like an advanced forward, then possibly be looking at the dribbles made and also possibly at the chances created as well. And just things like that. If you're looking for a playmaker, of course, you're going to be looking at key passes, assists per 90, chances created and all of that good stuff as well. So that is what we're going to be looking at when it comes to those episodes of signing players in the next episode though we will be coming back in october the 2nd of october to be playing donneria again i will learn how to pronounce some of these team names but we will be playing this team here who are currently 19th but by the time we play them they probably won't be 19th we are first we are first what a sight that is it for today i hope you guys have enjoyed this episode if you have give it a huge thumbs up now i'm not going to be one of those guys today to be saying subscribe to my channel like this video share it blah 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 blah. i think i'm done with those days but it would be hugely appreciated if you give these video or this video a thumbs up because then of course we want more eyes on this series because this is a good series it is a good series we want more eyes on it the more eyes the better for us as well now this is actually our best 11 and that is kind of way off but that is it for today. I'll see you guys soon. Stay safe. Peace out.